Swifters and today's little video is all about this. This is my brand new Worker Swift uh, which I've painted and hydrated and I'm calling the Toucan. Uh, I absolutely love this blaster. For, first off, big shout out to Nerf Shack, who's a fellow member of Team Tropical Thunder, Thunder, uh, for providing me with this blaster. He surprised me with it at Foam Fest and uh, yeah, as I say, it's been a blaster I've been after for a long time and uh, yeah, I was uh, super excited and super grateful uh, to get one from him. Uh, so thank you very much uh, to Nerf Shack and uh, yeah, as I said, blaster I've been up since this blaster came out, I've absolutely loved it. Loved the whole sci-fi kind of aesthetic of it and it's kind of the modularity, the way the barrels can swap in and out, the springs can swap in and out really simply without, it, without stripping it down, uh, just couple of screws here and there to swap parts out and really kind of really change the FPS and uh, really makes it a great blaster from kind of I think it's kind of about the smallest battle and spring go to about 130 to 150 FPS the middle battle and spring up to around 200 and then you can take it then up to over 250 FPS and these are all really easy to swap in and out and make it such a, a such a great blaster. Uh, so yeah, as I said, blaster I really loved. Loved the design, loved the shape. Uh, all love these big. I'm a big fan of the worker blasters, as you know if you watch the channel. I'm a big fan of the swordfish and uh, done some great hydro dip jobs on some of them. And I just thought this would be another perfect candidate for hydro dipping because it's got these big big panels, uh, plenty of space to get hydro dip on. Uh, and this was my first personal blaster build since joining Team Tropicana Thunder, so I wanted to give it a tropical twist, uh, and I've decided to call it the Toucan. Uh, obviously, it comes with this big muzzle brake here, which I kind of thought kind of kind of looked like a. I was wanted a kind of tropical theme because it was called the Swift. I wanted to then kind of name it after a tropical bird. Uh, the bird of paradise name's already gone for another blaster we did for a Team Tropicana Thunder member, uh, so. I thought this kind of looked like the beak of a toucan on the front, so I kind of did this kind of fade paint job on that to kind of represent that. Uh, and yeah, I kind of like that name, it's kind of stuck with it. My original plan was to do a kind of tartan and tropical mix up. Uh, I did the tropical dip first, came out immaculately. I then did a tartan dip on top of this. I think I've got a picture somewhere. But when I put the two together, I really didn't like the look of it. Uh, so I decided to change it up, uh, took the tartan dip off. And then I went with my kind of traditional uh, metallic green and went with a kind of filigree hydro dip on top of that, which is kind of silver, it's called silver floral, I think the dip is called. Uh, but yeah, it just looks really amazing over the green and matches in quite well with the tropical dip, I think. And obviously suits the rest of my blasters because there's a hashtag team green for all my blasters. That works pretty well. Uh, as I said, the swapping out of the barrels and springs and everything this is so easy it comes with the built-in allen key here which you pop out and you just unscrew this back end here and you can swap the springs out and there's one screw here that fits the barrels and you can slide the barrels out and change them in the box it comes with two barrels and then there's an upgrade one you can buy as well uh, luckily here in UK UK North War stocks a lot of worker stuff and he's also a big fan of the Swift so he stocks all the all the parts of the Swift so I managed to get, I got the upgrade barrel as well, so I've got three different barrels for this, so I can run it in three different configurations, and it's so easy to swap in and out, such a great design. I love the fact inside as well, it's such a kind of very simple and robust design. Everything's very simple and just works about this. Uh, my only complaint about Swift is it's very heavy, so I need to need to get some sling points on this and run a sling on it. Uh, I used this for the first time last week at a game, run by A Strike Force down at Dishworth uh, Airfield. And... Uh, seal on this is amazing as well. Such a such a good seal, such a well-built blaster. But anyway, used this for the first time the other week and uh, yeah, it just worked brilliantly. I was running it and this is the medium barrel and medium spring I've got in this just now. So it's running around about 200 FP, 200 FPS. Uh, and the, the game we were playing was a 200 FPS game. So yeah, it just then it worked, worked seamlessly, it was great. I did notice there was a few issues uh, if I was using kind of well-used darts sometimes it would fall out the barrel or they would not fly very far but when you were using nice fresh darts yeah it was just up shooting laser beams it was really good uh, very accurate uh, very prime on it's very easy uh, yeah, it's just I just absolutely love this blaster uh, so going over the hydro dip I used I find uh, wanted to use something a bit different from other tropical ones I've used before so I found this one kind of uh, tropical flowers or something it's called I think uh, so it's a kind of black base dip with lots of bright colours on it. 
so we did the I did a silver base under there and then over that so some of the colors really pop out of the silver but I decided to try something different on this blaster and I bought some color shift pigments uh, and I mixed the color shift pigments with the clear coat so on the tropical dip I used a kind of bluey I think it's a green to purple color shift pigment mixed through the lacquer uh, with along with some uh, glitter some uh, metallic uh, holographic flake uh, and I've got a few videos it just when it catches the light in certain times it's yeah it just looks really amazing with the glitter and then there's the slight color shift in it as well and this bit here I've used my metallic green uh, base with a kind of silver floral hydro dip uh, I've used this before once or twice it's a really cool really cool dip uh, it looks goes on really nicely and gives a really subtle design effect and on this I used a kind of color shift uh, lacquer as well a kind of greeny bluey uh, shift again it's very subtle you just need to catch it in the light and it will just especially over the silver bits there you can really really see the different uh, shifts in the color and then on the top here we had the, the kind of beak effect with the fade and we used a kind of orangey copper shift on top of this as well along with a little bit of a uh, silver metallic flake just a touch on it this time and obviously that's on this repeat on the stock as well and yeah, just in certain lights you get this kind of really metallic-y effect, like, uh, kind of orangey, coppery, kind of bronzy, kind of really looks almost kind of flame-like, it's really cool. Uh, but yeah, as I say, a lot of work went into this with the different dips, the different glitters, the different lacquers as well. So yeah, it took a while to get all this done. This has uh, been such a, an amazing blaster, I suspect I will use this blaster a lot. Uh, just the functionality of the different FPS's and everything just make it really really functional uh, for the Springer really easy to use you can also separate these main bits just by undoing three screws here uh, just as, use a little key underneath to untouch them and you can fully strip that out and reload your plunger tube and everything as well uh, metal plunger tube, metal plunger rod metal priming bars inside really gives it a bit of weight as well it's really, more one complaint about this is it's quite heavy uh, but yeah, it's incredibly solid and yeah, such an amazingly, amazingly well put together blaster. I love the look of it. Uh, I love how my kind of design and paint jobs come out. And uh, yeah, I have to say, I can uh, see this getting a lot of use in uh, the higher FPS games over the next few years. Uh, hopefully, I might uh, add, a f add a few bits to it here and there, the sling points, and you can get thumb screws and things for these parts as well which will just make it even quicker to take apart and uh, uh, keep it maintained. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I would thoroughly recommend a Worker Swift if you're, you're into your kind of high power springers. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, I hate to say it, but it's a bit of a long shot killer for me. I've always been a massive long shot fan and love the long shots, but uh, this might be my new favorite. Sorry, long shot, but uh, I think you've been overtaken by the functionality of this Swift. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to go out and play with it again. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay, make sure you're subscribed here on YouTube. Make sure you check us out over on Instagram. Follow us over on Instagram and on Facebook. Follow our Facebook page. All our main updates go on there. And you can also check out our Etsy page. I've still got a few things on Etsy. Uh, I need to replenish the stock on there. I've not got uh, as many things on it just now, and I've just been busy working on other projects just now as you can see the workshops are a complete mess because i've got about a dozen projects on the go just now uh but yeah we'll hopefully get some stuff back on the etsy store and i've got some time off my day job coming up soon so i might get a few bits and bobs done anyway uh thanks for watching and stay safe everyone and we'll see you later